Thanks, Gabe. And I am joined by Adam Bowden, who in 10 short years with his Diamond Creek Farm is making a real impact on the span standard bread racing sport. Adam, why standard breads? You know, my father had standard breads when I grew up. I grew up in Maine, and we went to the track, uh, oh, about every weekend. And so that was my introduction to the sport. I went to work for Hanover for a couple of years in the summer and then started the farm in 2005, and here we are. And your location, you're in Paris, Kentucky, which is just up the road. Is that, uh, is that where you started? Was that the first endeavor with the farm? Yeah, our first farm we bought in Paris and expanded to a farm in Georgetown that we are at now. We sold the farms in Paris, bought a farm in Pennsylvania where our stallions are, and uh, we keep the mares and yearlings here. And I'm sure a large part of that is because of the new Kentucky Sire Stake Mayor Residency Program, which allows those yearlings to be eligible to uh, a couple of different programs. Yeah, our farm in Pennsylvania and here in Kentucky allow us to... Uh, to be dual eligible, so we get our, uh, our uh, mares and foals uh, go back and forth, so they, they spend half the time there and half the time here, and, and we got some racing tonight. Yeah, in fact, you've got three in the two-year-old Colt Pace tonight. One of them still belongs to you. It's gonna be a, well, he's the morning line favorite. He's a real sharp Colt by your first crop sire, Rock and Roll Drance, and he's a half-brother to your great mare, Pure Country, Grand Teton. He drew 10 tonight. Yeah, I think, we would have liked that he drawn inside, but you know we're at the mercy of where we draw, and we'll give it a shot and see what ends up. He's an impressive colt. And Adam, Ed, when we go to the sale this year, I talked with Steve Stewart for a minute about the, how exciting it is, the first crop sires. And I'm sure you're represented well by all the first croppers. A couple of them are horses that you stand. Yeah, Father Patrick and Sweet Lou will have their first crop this fall. and. Uh, the ones I've seen so far we're very pleased with, and uh, they should be very successful. And Rock and Roll Dance has done fairly well so far in his first crop, and we've got uh, quite a few in his second crop. So we're very excited about what the future holds. It is, it's, it is an exciting time here in Kentucky, and you're right in the middle of it. Looking forward to the sale coming up in a couple of weeks and watching what happens on the racetrack after that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time, Adam, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Gabe, back to you.